onto toothpaste, which supposedly helps you get rid of pimples. Wow. And crossing your legs causes varicose veins. Oh. Is that right? I have heard that, but apparently wrong. wrong. These are just some of the beauty myths that have been debunked over the years. Yes, but some beauty tales are in fact true. And here to reveal them, beauty expert Maddie Samai. Hey, you, Maddie. Welcome to the hey, show. Larry. Let's start with wrinkles. Can rubbing your eyes really cause fine lines? Very much, son. That's why we keep on telling you, don't rub your eyes. Now, what happens is skin under the eye is extremely thin and delicate. And vigorously rubbing or pulling the skin under the eye can cause irritation, redness and dehydration of the skin which can lead into collagen breakdown and premature aging. So it's a good idea to use moisturising and the best thing you can do ladies if you clean your eye makeup just do it as gently as possible. Mm. I heard I don't know if this is true, that you should use your ring finger because it's actually the weakest of all the fingers, so you should remove your oh, ring finger. Oh, it definitely like is. Definitely is. That's why we use it for marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's the weakest finger. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> this is not a marriage segment. No. Uh, is there a link between certain foods and acne? Definitely is. What happens is any food which is high in oil or sugar, what it can do is it can actually cause breakdown of the collagen in the skin and it slows down the healing of the skin. So what happens is they don't cause the acne, but where you get acne, the skin is quite unhealthy. And what happens is it slows down the healing process of it. So it's very much so like the scarring. What you need is you need to have the good food to get the scarring replenished. But unfortunately, if you are on a high sugar food, it breaks down fibroblasts in your skin. So your skin doesn't heal as well. So prolongs the oh. um, acne and scarring. That's interesting. Okay. Now, if you run out of shampoo yes. and you don't have the benefit of being able to steal some from the Channel 7 shower <laughs> room, uh, can you use conditioner to clean your hair instead, Matty? You definitely can. And the term for that is actually called co-washing, where you actually use your conditioner instead of shampoo. You just now, made that up. That's not even no, a term. No, it, it is actually a term. It's a beauty term. <laughs> now, my thing is, <laughs> one buy the dictionary beauty by Matty and you'll find it. Now, the thing about it is um, what it does is all, uh, all conditioners do contain cleansing agent in them and it is not as high as shampoo so what it tends to do is it tends to be more moisturizing and less chemical in it and if you got dry scalp dry hair or frizzy hair you can definitely use your conditioner on occasions like every second wash definitely use your conditioner I do it good to know okay all right what about too much lip balm can it actually end up drying your lips out hundred percent lip balms have been designed very much so for cold weather to actually protect our lip like a like a coating unfortunately they do contain a lot of ingredients in them mm. that can be irritant to the lip hmm. okay. and they don't have any moisturizing agent is that right? Yep, no okay. moisturizer. Uh, now, this next one's surprising. Leaving your perfume in the fridge Very much makes so. it last longer. It's like leaving yes. your beer in the bathroom. It makes exactly. perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you can. Um, the thing to, uh, the most thing about perfumes are they are designed in these beautiful containers which are designed to put on your dressing table, but unfortunately, they do contain alcohol in them, very similar to the beer, and the scent in them is very much so delicate. So things such as Temperature changes and direct sunlight can very much so affect the scent of them. So it goes, can perfume go, and men's... Uh, after shaves, after definitely. After it goes off? Well, they do go off if they are in the sun, certainly, or if the temperature changes. So if you keep them in the bathroom cupboards, that's one thing. But if you're leaving them on your dressing table where they've got direct sun exposure, 100%. i got one that smells a little bit like cat's wee at the moment. Yeah, that's that's really nice. like, yeah we were French, smelling that French, before. French, French cat's wee. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, before you go, uh, what's the verdict on getting rid of cellulite? Can it be oh. done? That's one myth that I wish it was actually not true, but it is true. There's no solution for it. 90% of women have it. The 5% that they don't have it will get it. You can lipo, you can freeze the fat, you can get misotherapy. Unfortunately, cell light comes back as a hormonal thing. Hmm. I'll see you at 3 o'clock for my bikini wax, Maddie. <laughs> we'll see you then. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Good. Thanks Thank you.